Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be starting with 1GP on a free to play account and I'm going to be using it to buy from a bunch of different shops all throughout the free to play world and we're going to see how much money I can make. So what we need to do here is first hop on to GE Tracker. Uh, they are a sponsor of mine and they have recently released a pretty cool tool uh, called the Store Profit Tool and they have a free to play uh, filter for it as well. There will be a link in the description for that. So basically once you're on the store profit page you come down to this tab and put show FTP stores on and turn on to yes. So now it's only going to show uh, items that are available to free to play players. There's been a couple bugs of wrong items but for the most part it's pretty accurate. So let's start out here with the blue cape. That looks pretty promising. 29, 27.99. I know there's a gem store in free to play uh, which might be an interesting option. The brown apron it uh, looks like it's 1 GP, I'll have to double check that because I do have to find for one to begin with an item that only costs 1 GP, which will be fine. I mean, I can buy a pot of flour or some shit, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, the brown apron might sell for 600 right now, that would be pretty awesome. The drawback here is there's only one per world. Okay, so we're at the Thessalia's fine clothing and... Ah uh, shit, I think it costs 2 GP. Okay, so uh, we're going to buy the chisel instead. Can we afford a chisel? Yep, looks like it. So we'll go sell this off and then maybe come back and buy the aprons. Okay, so we hop back to the Grand Exchange and we'll sell off the chisel quickly uh, for, I don't know, maybe 50 GP or something. We'll collect and it looks like 120, not bad. So now we'll have enough money to buy the brown aprons, which hopefully should sell for a couple hundred GP profit per item. Okay, yeah, it looks like they're selling for a thousand sometimes for whatever reason, probably a fashion scape thing, but more likely it's going to sell for maybe three or four hundred. So we got full inventory here, so we'll try selling them off and, uh, well, let's just dump them in here for, I don't know. 699 and we're gonna leave them in actually overnight maybe that's a pretty solid 18k though all right back guys uh, we ended up selling them for 444 so a bit less uh, but it's still 12k pretty easy to get 12k in uh, free to play so now we have a bunch of different options for things we might want to buy i think what we're going to try is the blue cape which is actually selling for about 2k each now to get the blue cape you need access to the champions guild which i do fortunately um so yeah we should hopefully sell them for 1k each and it stocks two per world which is actually quite a bit better uh, so, world hopping's a pain, but let's go try this out. Okay, so we're at Valane's uh, Shop of Champions, so we can buy two per world, and it sells for about 41 each. So, 2k per world hop is extremely good for free-to-play. I'm really happy that RuneScape can be played on dial-up connections pretty well. Okay, so we've got a, pretty much a full inventory, so we're going to sell them for just under 1k each. And uh, we'll try selling 24 now, then we'll maybe go back and get some more. Uh, but things take a long time to sell in free-to-play, so I really just want to get them into Grand Exchange as quickly as possible. So for those who don't know, actually buying team capes in the wilderness can be a really good way to make money in free-to-play because these team capes are oftentimes used by uh, clans in pay-to-play and sometimes they'll go for a couple K each. Now, finding these uh, shops can be a bit of a pain because the uh, guys actually move around in the wilderness. However, this particular shop actually is going to stay in the same spot. It really depends uh, per person to person. But yeah, so we're going to run out there and we'll teleport back. Okay, so where is he? Uh, Ian. So we're going to buy Team 22 capes and we'll buy 50 of them. Easy as that. And then we're going to have to teleport back. So, I mean, theoretically, that could be, I don't know, 52k. But you have to run all the way out here in free to play, which takes quite a while. So, right now, this is a lot of experimenting. I don't want to uh, spend too much time buying a specific item just because it might not sell quickly. Nobody might want it. So, we're going to do a little bit of everything and see what works and kind of well, diversify the items we're buying. And then maybe once we find an item or two that's really good, we'll try to hammer that one down. Okay, so we sold off uh, all of the blue capes, which is nice, and we made 22K on that, and just a few of the team capes, only four of them. It's kind of hit and miss. It really depends on if a clan wants them or not. Otherwise, they sell so slowly. Uh, next up, we're gonna check out Dominic's crafting store. He sells, like, looked amulet mold. It's selling currently for almost a thousand each. Uh, thread has an okay margin on it. Uh, some of the other molds are people will need even in pay to play, so we'll go give that a try. Okay, so I think he stocks two of the amulet mold, which is decent, but it'd be nice to find other items to buy as we're world hopping. So we'll buy the two amulet molds, we'll buy the thread, uh, because that well, it looks like someone else just bought it. Uh, maybe ring molds, uh, it kind of depends. There's more ring molds in stock, however, currently they're going for less of a price, but it really there's no rhyme or reason behind it. Sometimes these molds will be high in price, and sometimes they won't be. So it's really just going to depend on the time. So we'll go buy the amulet mold for now. Another interesting shop that's available and free to play is the gem stall. Now the drawback here is it's oftentimes not in stock. Uh, looks like you can sometimes get an uncapped emerald or an uncut sapphire or a cut emerald or a cut sapphire. But uh, there's not that many free to play worlds and 
Uh, they don't restock very quickly. However, each one I'm buying right now is going to be, well, the Emerald's going to be worth 500 GP profit pretty well. And the Sapphire is actually worth more than the Emerald. That doesn't fucking make any sense, but whatever. And that would be maybe 7 or 800 GP profit, which is pretty good considering these items are going to sell off instantly. There's a big benefit to that. Okay, so uh, we're doing a little more testing here. Well, we'll sell off the end cut emeralds pretty much instantly. And the sapphires, we got a few sapphires as well. The cut variant being worth quite a bit less. Next up, we're going to try selling off the ring molds. We ended up buying some of those. We'll maybe sell those for a couple hundred GP each. And the amulet molds apparently are going for uh, up to a thousand. So we'll give that a try. And it uh, looks like we bought the ring molds for 440. That's actually better than I thought. So if we sell the ring molds for 440, that's 22k we made in just a few minutes on that on those items. For the amulet molds, it's going to be even more, closer to 50k. So we'll sell those for 899, 896 or something. So that's 50k there, and even some thread we got in the mix as well, uh, which we probably made about 20k on the thread. So so far, the crafting store seems to be the most consistent money I've found in the shop so far. We'll keep looking, of course. Uh, but the main benefit to this shop is it has quite a few different items that you can buy for profit. So you're not wasting so much time each world hop. Where the other shops have one profitable item, however, that's it. So you really just have to just sit there and wait and it's much more boring. And I think the money per hour would actually be a bit less. So we went ahead and bought more items from the crafting shop. And look at that, we sold off all the ring molds already for about 26k. We sold off all the thread. Um, some team capes are coming through and um, just other things are kind of slowly coming through. It's nice having a bunch of different items because it makes more progress quicker. So we have another 100 ring molds to sell and we'll maybe make another 50k on those and another 55 amulet molds, which ideally we'll make another 50k on that as well. So this might seem very slow, which it is, but when you consider the amount of game time it takes in a free to play account to actually make any money, it's not bad. It's a hell of a lot better than buying rune packs. Okay, we're checking back in a few days later and we sold off all of the ring molds, that's awesome. 42k there, all of the thread, a lot of the molds. Uh, the capes are coming through really slowly, but let's just collect everything and it looks like we're up to 300k already. Uh, not bad for free to play. So we'll probably readjust some of these offers and then just wait longer. So it looks like currently the tiara mold is selling for 1,000 each, which is awesome because the tiara mold actually is stocked up to 10 in Dominic's crafting store, so we can get these super quick. Uh, we'll maybe buy some of the other molds while we're at it, but we can get like a full inventory in just a few seconds and we won't actually be kicked from world hopping all the time. So when it comes to buying items in free to play, there isn't a surefire way to do it. You really just have to look on GE Tracker or look in the shops and calculate it yourself and figure out what items or on the current day, the best to buy. It changes so quickly. All these items are pretty low demand, so the price can fluctuate a lot, depending on actually who needs them that day or not. So we checked the tiara molds in there, and we're hoping to get like 100k from those, but we'll have to see, and we'll check the rest of the molds in, and we'll come back, uh, hopefully, when they sell. So an interesting uh, item that I never thought would be viable to buy from shops is actually a steel pickaxe. Now, for whatever reason, it actually sells for almost 1,000 in the Grand Exchange right now. It sells for 500. But it stocks up to four, so that means per world I'm getting about 2k in profit. Now the drawback here is the bank, while it's close, is in a member's area, so it's a bit of a pain for banking. But we're gonna try this for a bit and see if it's gonna be worth it or not, because no one's buying these items, so we don't have to worry about someone else fighting over the stock. Uh, just banking is a bit of an annoyance. Okay, so we gathered a hundred steel pickaxes, and we're gonna give this a try. We're gonna sell them for 1,000 each, so that's about. What would we make there? 50k in profit? I'm not sure if that's worth it or not because it was a bit of a time consuming process to get them all. I think we're going to bop them up in price a bit. Uh, but eh, maybe if we have time we'll try it again. Alright guys, we have a bunch of sales coming through. We have all the pickaxes which sold very quick. Uh, some ring molds and the capes and amulet molds coming through. But if we collect everything we're up to actually 400k. Okay, so we managed to gather another 200 steel pickaxes. That was a pain in the ass but that's 100k in profit there which is nice and some more sales, that's bringing us up to near 600k. So steel pickaxes, blue capes, and the crafting store seem to be the best, so we're probably just gonna do that. Okay, we're gonna try the gem store because we've got a little bit of extra time here. Uh, you can go through all the worlds and even if they're fully stocked, you'll have to, there's no way they'll stock back in time. So you can do one run through, then you have to go do something else anyway. But it looks like it has a full stock of sapphires, which is pretty good, so we'll go buy them out. All right, so we gathered more steel pickaxes and more gems. I really wish gem buying was more viable, but there's just not enough worlds to do it in. Even under ideal circumstances, it's barely worth it. 
Okay guys, we're back with a bunch of more items that I just sold, uh, a bunch of steel pickaxes, a bunch of amulet molds, team capes, uh, TR molds. All in all, I think it's going to bring us up to 901k, uh, which I think is where we're going to end it for today. I do want to get the bond and maybe another episode of this, uh, but this video is already getting pretty long, so we'll leave it at that. I think we're going to wait about a week maybe to record another one, or maybe a couple weeks, and hopefully by then there will be some new items I can buy, because uh, right now the crafting shop and the capes are really my best bet. Uh, but it just goes to show that anyone can get a bond from free to play just by buying from all these shops that you pretty much for the most part have access to even as like a level three. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like. I always appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.